you. I know it's not. It's probably. Pew. <laughs> what was the difference between those two? Oh, it's pew. Pew. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> Never done this. This is the first time I get to start us off, you idiots. I'm Rick Siegel, and with me, as always, is this idiot. That just sounds stupid coming from you. It really does. Hey, welcome back to Richard Interactions. <laughs> I'm Corbin. This is Rick Siegel. Pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Uh, please follow us on Instagram, Instagram on Twitter. Twitter. Thank you. Yeah, we love you. Um, and today we'll be reacting to a movie that how do you how would you pronounce it? Pew. Pew. Yeah. That's my guess. Because if you call it Pew, the movie probably stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it does. Who knows? I don't know what this is about. Nope. I know it no came clue. out in November of last year. So it's year. a more recent one. There will be no narration on this trailer. I hope not. But that would be awful. <laughs> Here we go. You've seen that logo a lot. Mm-hmm. What the heck? wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you suggest this? Oh my god. <laughs> I knew it was gonna turn, man. I could feel it down in my gut. Wow, that's heavy. Okay, I gotta... Is what? It, is it just a story of a, of, a, of a single mother, I'm guessing, who dies or kills herself? Uh, there's something going on there. She had bruises on her wrist. Yeah. So either she... She was murdered or something. Died, killed herself, somebody right. killed her. Which, I gotta tell you, knowing the length of time the Indian films run, I just can't wait to sit for nearly three hours and watch a little child Almost done. walk around a house with her dead mom in bed. Yeah, that looks like an uplifter, doesn't it? Mm, boy, that and three idiots should be going <laughs> right together, man. <laughs> Those should play back to back. Don't get me wrong, I do love a good drama. Yeah, and a thriller. But this looks like a heaviness of like The Room. Yeah, exactly. It looks like, the, for those of you who know that film, The Room with Brie Larson, also known as Captain Marvel. Yeah, this looks, this looks awful. This, yeah. <laughs> but if it's got one of those critical acclaim things and it actually has some kind of a redeeming end. Um, I don't know if it'll have a redeeming end or parents man, are dead, man. I, I just, let's see some comments on this uh, thing. You know, I, I almost got a heart attack. We're with you. Uh, movie is up for Guinness World Record for having a single protagonist in a movie played by a two-year-old. Well, yeah. Is uh, it just this? Is, is, it whole, just, is the whole film just her trying not to die in the apartment? Really? 
It'd be the first time you've ever had just a two-year-old play the main character, and that's all it is, is yeah. her. It would be great acting like, by her. Really, it'd be like Castaway for babies. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> my heart's beating so fast, yeah. That Have shot it, of her laying on the corpse of what we guess is her mom was just freaking gross. Yeah, dead and <laughs> quite sad. Just awful. Yeah, that's... Man. Well... <laughs> I thought it was. I was not expecting that. I was expecting like it to be like uh, a horror film. I mean, I'm guessing it is a horror film, but <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, like something scary is gonna happen, so he's gonna break in. And yeah. Like this, because uh, she had that little baby voice, which is often right, associated well, with scary. And the films. background music was doing a little. Those intervals were. I was a expecting bit like the, the it clown to come up. Right. Or, something like that. Something like that to come up, but. And uh, I thought maybe it was an apocalyptic thing. But this is even worse. This is even uh, worse. <laughs> Yeah, just having spend a few hours with a child who's alone in a house with her dead mother, with her dead mom. <laughs> <laughs> Experience the joy of a two-year-old's complete isolation and desolation and torment. The most heartbreaking moment is that this is based on true story. I know that makes my stomach hurt, which it also makes me feel like I have to sit through it. Which is how I felt when I saw Prisoners, Hugh Jackman's film. If you've not seen Prisoners with Hugh Jackman, it's awful. But that's because it's so well done. And it deals with the abduction of children. And he has to look through photographs of belongings of children that had been abducted mm -hmm. and see if he can recognize any of his own child's clothing. And I wanted to get up and leave. Mm -hmm. But a voice in my, my head said, don't do that. Parents who go through this don't get the option to leave this situation. So you sit here and watch this situation and empathize with people who have to deal with this that you may encounter that have gone through that. Um, this would be a tough Yeah, sitter. this would be really rough. I'd have to prepare myself, watch yeah. this early in the morning so that I get the rest of the day to recover and get my positivity back. Jeez. But if for those of you who've seen it, I mean, it's, it came out in November. Who would see this? <laughs> 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 really? Like, I can deal with clowns, I can deal with mur yeah. murder, right. having a child, having to survive in their home. Yeah, here's like, oh my god, it's too hard to watch this trailer, I have a baby and I cry to watch this trailer. Yeah, anybody who's got kids, or cares about kids, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. one, and what one word, extraordinary. That's probably the most disturbing thing I can think of, having a uh. child, like, in the house with their dead mother well, and then having to try to survive. Well, maybe they'll lighten it for us at some point and she'll cannibalize her mom. What? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> was, that was a joke. <laughs> I was trying to go for how, how much worse could they possibly make it and they'd have to go to that extreme to make it even worse than it looks. Did any of you sit through this, and yeah. is it worth sitting through? Because so if you say don't watch it, we're not, trust me. Yeah. We will not watch it. Yeah, so please let us know if it's worth it, if it's worth a review. Yeah, but if you guys say, if every, no, we got everybody saying you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. Ooh, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Well, that was uplifting. Uh, so fun. So yeah. So fun, so fun. But I'm gonna go, um... Gonna go do some cartwheels. I'm gonna go slam my head into the wall a few times. <laughs> <laughs>